Well, the news about Target just seems to get more and more disturbing. Just when you thought it was bad enough, they're selling your kids LGBTQ, exercise, crotch, transgender, whatever clothes. Well, they go and do something this. Now, this is Christy Nome on Fox News talking about the kind of nonprofit companies Target supports. It just gets worse and worse. Uh, you know, what NDN Collective has said, this nonprofit, is that South Dakota is the cornerstone battle against freedom. Uh, they want to take away Mount Rushmore, shut it down, eliminate it. And it has long been an institution of what America stands for. Um, you know, Target Corporation, their nonprofit, has funded NDN Collection tens of millions of dollars. In fact, in 2021, they gave them over $50 million to use to be anti-America, to be anti-military, anti-cop, anti-veteran, uh, to be anti-Israel. Uh, and this is a very extreme organization that's raising uh, these dollars from nonprofits such as uh, Target and going forward and buying land and using it to infiltrate our American way of life and our value system. It's dangerous. And, and Steve, I'll tell you, I'm like a lot of Americans, love to shop at Target. I mean, we do, but we just can't yeah. anymore. And while the rest of the country is worried about you know, having fun and going out and shopping and enjoying a store, that store is fundamentally tearing down this country. And we have to have real conversations about how serious we are about protecting our freedom. Sure, absolutely. There you go. Now, one more. I want to show you something from Joe Biden from 2002. You're not going to believe this, what he has to say about uh, how Congress wants to waste their time talking about gay marriage when that issue is already settled. Marriage is between a man and a woman, which he's which he voted for in 1996, called the Defense of Marriage Act. And he's got more things that he would like to do. And they should talk about like funding the police. Even matter of fact, we'll pick it up from there. Listen to Joe Biden. And then I'll have a few th more things to say about this. We don't have enough police officers and we're going to debate the next three weeks. I'm told gay marriage a flag amendment, and God only knows what else. I can't believe the American people can't see through this. We already have a law, the Defense of Marriage Act. We've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman, and states must respect that. Nobody's violated that law. There's been no challenge to that law. Why do we need a constitutional amendment? Marriage is between a man and a woman. What's the game going on? Excellent question, Joe Biden. Exactly what is the game here? Wow, times have changed. Unbelievable how the leader of the free world has now turned our symbols of freedom and our American flag into a laughing stock that takes a sidestep to the LGBTQ pride flag, bending the knee to its master sexual perversion. There's never been a president who more fully embraces every form of sexual perversion than Joe Biden. He does it, as you'd ex expect, proudly. And it's just unbelievable where we are. Someone left me a comment. They and you know it's a bit of an exaggeration because really the only you know righteous people left in in Sodom and Gomorrah were Lot and his family. But they they, they wrote a comment in my video. I just, here's here's a video I just did the other day, and this is kind of like following up on that. And there'll probably be a couple more, some more topics I want to talk about. But someone left a comment that basically, uh, if God does not judge America then he's going to owe Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. I mean, it's, it's kind of a funny comment, but it's kind of concerning at the same time because, I mean, where, how far can we go down this pit of hell into complete and utter rejection of God and into sexual perversion and worshiping everything else but the one true living God before this nation is, in fact, judged by God? And some will say it's being judged. Like we are living in and witnessing some people's perspective is this is what judgment looks like. There's a lot to say for that perspective, isn't there? But in any event, I, I just, you know, like I said, there will be more on this topic. And um, uh, I, I do want to say something real quick because I'll talk about it in another video. This is my logo right here. I left this for last in this video. I will probably do this in another video, but in case anyone is concerned because uh, of people on heightened alert to find evil wherever they can find it this month. 
Uh, there is legitimate evil out there, but that ain't it. <laughs> that is four colors, by the way. That is my logo. It has nothing to do with the rainbow, and you now know my views about all that. But the fact is, I decided for this month that I was going to I was going to do the opposite of the world. All these corporations are changing their logo over to the pride flag colors, and I was going to change my colorful flag just because some people did question it. You know, these people don't pay attention to me or the channel. They pop in for five seconds, don't like something, then they find something to criticize. They don't know a thing about me and they, they publicly leave a comment on my channel saying, oh, this guy calls himself a Christian and he supports LGBTQ. Look at that logo. They're idiots. But the fact of the matter is, I actually decided and said in the last video, I'm going to turn this logo white for this month. And someone, frankly, that actually is more of a critic than he is a supporter, but he said, I appreciate that he's there and I enjoy the dialogue we have, even though he's usually criticizing me. But he actually gave me some very encouraging words. And he said, hey, don't change your logo because of what anyone says. Just, it's your logo. And if they if they misunderstand you and they want to be naysayers, uh, just go with what you, you know, stand with what you, you did. And, and, and for, who cares what those people think, basically? Something along those lines. And believe it or not, that really resonated with me and I really uh, felt encouraged by that. And I, I decided, you know, he's right. So I'm not changing it to white. That's it. That's my logo. It actually does have a meaning personally to me. Uh, and I will explain it in another video. I don't want to take the time here. Um, but it is uh, nothing to do with a rainbow and 100% purely uh, biblically motivated or, or influenced, I should say. Uh, some Bible verses and then some concepts about the body of Christ and worship that are inspired by Leviticus 6, 12 and 13, and Hebrews 12, 28 and 29. And you can go look them up if you want. But I'll give a more detailed explanation of what the logo means in another video, probably. Uh, but for now, I think that's all I wanted to cover. I'm going to have a few more things on during this month to talk about on this issue. I generally do not talk as much about politics on this channel. I'm making an exception this month, but uh, generally speaking, I'm going to be talking more about uh, the Bible and, uh, you know, issues within Christianity and different theologies and controversial issues that I like to talk about that really have to do more with Christianity and the Bible than they do politics. But um, every once in a while, I like to dive into politics and talk about it. So hope you don't mind. And with that, I'm off. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you'll click the like button and share the video if you like the content on your social media channels and help this channel get a little bit extra exposure. That'd be great. Really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks everyone. And may the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye.